First, uh, Hallie. Yes. Ariel and Eric have a more complex relationship in this film. Can you explain? Yes, I definitely feel that Ariel and Eric's relationship is definitely a bit more nuanced in this version. You get to understand uh, the reasoning for their connection and their genuine friendship. And I think uh, you see that in their shared interests. You know, Ariel's grotto is very similar to Eric's library and them just collecting the things that they love and their thirst for adventure, for the world that they don't know. So I think when you get to see that relationship between them both, it helps you understand why they connect so much in the first place. Jonah, same question. Yeah, I think their relationship is really built on friendship. I think it's about um, their shared value systems, their shared view of the world. They're both people that always want to look outwards and not in. I think they're quite restless and I think they want more. I think they want to explore, they want to go on adventures and that connects them so much. I think uh, there's all of that Disney romance that we all know and love, uh, but I think they also connect on a really deep level as well. And uh, I think we, we, we saw them as kindred spirits. Holly, how similar are each of you to your characters? Ooh, well, I will definitely say, if I can speak for Jonah, I think Jonah <laughs> is very similar to Prince Eric uh, because he is, I think he's a really good leader. He's a good example of a leader. He's very kind, compassionate, and also just curious, much like Prince Eric and has a thirst for wonder in the world. And I... I really think he's he's very similar to Prince Eric, especially in the film. I told her to say that. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> well, then I'm going to speak for you, and I'm going to say Hallie is everything Ariel needed to be. Uh, she has that beautiful voice, and she's so kind, and she's so strong, and she uh, knows who she is, and she knows what she wants, uh, and she's funny, and she's uh, full of love for people, and those are all qualities that Ariel has. So Thanks, it's good Jonah. casting. <laughs> All right, uh, either one of you can take this. Can you talk about the unique rehearsal process on this film? Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, the, the rehearsal process was unlike anything I'd experienced before. Rob and John, the, d the director and producer, they're uh, dancers originally, and they're choreographers, and they come from the theater world. And I think you really felt that because we had so much time to rehearse, to workshop the script, to really understand who these characters are. And that was great because on a film of this size, there's a lot of stuff going on around you. Uh, it's a huge scale, there's a huge circus when you're filming the scenes. And so that rehearsal process meant that we could really dig into who the people are and really understand their emotional journey so that when all of that crazy stuff was happening around us, we could rely on that and be grounded by that. And uh, that was amazing. And, and then of course there was all the, the training aspect as well, which you had probably the most of, of all, um, which uh, included horse riding training and, and scuba diving training and gym training, dog training. Yeah, as well as a lot of, of training. Of training. <laughs> uh, but it was, it was unique and, and I think set us up really well for filming. And this is the last question. <coughs> Why was Rob Marshall the ideal director to bring this story to the big screen? Wow, I definitely feel Rob Marshall was by far the most ideal director to do this because he is such a visionary. He's so passionate and he's also a very meticulous perfectionist. And I think that that's something beautiful when a creative who has such vision is able to articulate exactly what they see and what they want for a film. And ultimately that is, you know, that makes a perfect, a great director who can give direction in that way and, and show you and tell you what uh, the vision is supposed to be. So I also think because he has a great eye for talent, because he's talented himself, you know, like Jonah said earlier, they're dancers, they grew up in uh, this creative musical world and know exactly what's great and what's not. And I feel like they were. Rob was able to uh, put together a beautiful cast because of, of that vision that he's had for so long. So 